Welcome back to the channel. Last time we saw a voice bot for a small business called Pet Paws Grooming. We were able to answer FAQs using a knowledge base document and we were able to transfer call to human agents when needed. Now we're going to take it one step further and use Google Calendar to book appointments. In case you are a business looking for a custom solution or AI assistance for your business or looking to innovate in your business processes, feel free to book a consultation with me. The link will be in the description below. Let, let's take a look into what we're going to be building today. Hello, this is Mary from Pet Paws Grooming. How can I assist you today? Hi Mary, I was looking to book an appointment for my dog. Sure thing, let's get started. Can I have your full name please? It's John Wick. Great John Wick. And what type and breed is your pet? My pet is a bulldog. Got it, a bulldog. When would you like to schedule the appointment? How about tomorrow? Give me a moment. Sure thing, let me check availability for tomorrow. One moment. Unfortunately, there are no available slots for tomorrow within our working hours. Is there another day that works for you? Yeah, how about day after tomorrow? Just a sec. All right, let's check for the availability for the day after tomorrow. One moment. All right, you can choose from the following times, 9.30 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 p.m. Which one works best for you? Actually, 9.30 sounds really good. Perfect. I'll need your email to confirm the booking. Yeah, it's jw807-9389 at the rate gmail.com. Awesome, thanks. Just to confirm, we have name John Wick, pet, bulldog, date, day after tomorrow, time, 9.30 a.m. email, jw807-9389 at gmail.com. Is everything correct? Yeah, that sounds good. Just a sec. The appointment has been successfully booked for you. You're all set. Is there anything else I can assist you with? That would be all. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. Have a good day. All right. So now we know what we are building. Let's look into how we're going to be building it. Uh, I took the prompt that we had from the last time and I added a few more things to it. What essentially we did last time was that whenever a call came in, we had a VP assistant attend to that call. Now what we want to do is extend that assistant to be able to check availability and negotiate with the user on a common time and then use that common time to book a booking. So let's look at what changes we made to the prompt. The few things you would see in the prompt that I did was uh, after asking the type and breed of the pet, I asked the user to suggest a date for the appointment. Now. I had to do some prompt iteration over here to figure out if they say tomorrow, the property times must be tomorrow and I had to give them what is the reference for today's date. So uh, VP has these variables which you could use and this is the variable to get the current date. Then after we have the time when they are looking to book the appointment, what we do is we run a check availability function to check pet pause availability at that day and then we list down the three available times from those return times and then we ask user to choose from one of those times and if a user chooses an appointment within those time ranges then we use the book available book appointment function to book that date so we do a confirmation in between just to make sure if there is 
no uh, ambiguity in the information provided and if there is then we go ahead and edit that information then we wait for the response of booking that appointment once appointment is booked we want to let user know that if they had any other queries we are here to answer that and if they say there are no queries then we go ahead and end the call right and rest of the things you would see is almost the same let's dive deep into the function calling part which makes this google integration feasible so if we go into the function you would see i have two functions over here check availability and we use this function to check the pet pause availability and we have a make dot com hook which we will see in a bit but we also pass in a times property which looks at the, uh, the time that user requested and uh, check against our calendar against those and we have another function called as book appointment which takes in name type breed email and start time and this function is used to book an appointment so let's start with the easy one the booking appointment one that's the easy one and let me walk you through that all right uh, now let's look at what is happening on make.com in book appointment book appointment is the function which you see over here that we use to book the appointment and uh, this is what's happening in the scenario behind the scenes so we have a webhook which listens for this message and once this webhook is triggered it has this data available that is john wick is the name type of the dog breed of the dog and email and then the time at which appointment is requested and then we have a google calendar create an event and this has the details to create the meeting invite and then we just send a response that this appointment was successfully booked at this time configuration wise what you would need to do when you are setting this up is just have create a webhook copy this address and make sure it is pasted in the server url over here all right that's that's all you need to do for booking an appointment <laughs> all right let's look at what's happening inside the check availability function so in check availability what we are trying to do is we gonna compare our calendar against customers requested time we negotiate based on the time slots available and the aim of this is to ensure that there is no double booking happening du during the appointment setting so what essentially happens is we have a webhook like in we had in the book appointment and in the webhook we pass in the time that user is requesting for this and comes in this day after tomorrow we have uh, chat gpt to figure out what is the date and then from that we extract something called as day of the week this is we are doing it because we don't want to take bookings on saturday and sunday and we return a response in that case that there are no appointment slots available that day but if it's a weekday which is in this case it is what we go ahead and we do is we have a uh, we we use a free busy api from google to actually make a call and check what are the free times available on the calendar and after we get the response which you can see over here uh, these are all the busy slots we use chat gpt to suggest us slots that are not these busy slots so we find out free slots using chat gpt prompt over here and uh, out of this response we return a webhook response of hey there are three times available where somal is free 9:30 11 a.m. 12 p.m. so you get that response back saying this is where uh, the calendar seems to look free and once we have that response we go back to vp and we go back to our model so now if you look at step number 4 then we get these three available times which we saw just now and now we're going to go and ask the user to select from those available times um in terms of setup if you look at it the main thing that you need to set up is your google free busy api and you need an api key to make this call which you can get it from your google api console so if you go into google web console and goes into api enable you can create an api credential for yourself 
Uh, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. You want to make sure that you are using your own time zone and you're doing calculations according to the time zone. That's where I have figured uh, the most time is spent, how to get the time zone right. Uh, apart from that, it's a pretty easy setup to do. Let's take a look at what we have built until now. Hello, this is Mary from Pet Post Grooming. How can I assist you today? Hi Mary, I was looking to book an appointment. Sure thing, let's get started. Can I have your full name please? Yeah, it's John Wick. Nice to meet you John. What type and breed is your pet? Yeah, it's a pit bull. Got it, a pit bull. When would you like to schedule the appointment? I was hoping next Monday. All right, aiming for next month. Just a sec. Monday, let me check. Okay, we have the following time slots available for next Monday. 1, 9 a.m., 2, 11 a.m., 3, 2 p.m. Which one works best for you? Yeah, I think 9 a.m. slot is perfect for me. Great. Could I get your email address to confirm this appointment? Yeah, it's JW807. 9389 at the rate gmail.com Thanks John, confirming all details. Name, John Wick email, jw8079389 at gmail.com Appointment, next Monday at 9am, Pet Pitbull. Is everything correct? Yes, that's correct. One moment. The appointment is confirmed for next Monday at 9 a.m. Is there anything else I can help you with? If not, have a good day. That's it. You have now integrated Google Calendar with your AI assistant using Wapi and Make.com. This ensures a seamless booking experience, avoiding double booking and ensuring your staff focuses on the work that matters and then brings in high value for your business. If you found this tutorial helpful, Please like and subscribe for more AI and automation content. If you need a custom solution for your business, don't forget to book a consultation in the link in the description below. Let's take your business to the next level with AI. See you in the next video. Bye.